Welcome to Sustainable Sailing. This is the second of our boat refit tips videos and this week we're going to be looking at cooking. That's quite important when your boat refit is happening in North Wales where for a lot of the year it's cold, mm. it's wet and here next to the Menai Strait it's almost always very windy. Also our boat is two hours from our home so cooking is essential if we're going to be able to stay long enough to do any useful work or big jobs. And when we first came on board the boat the gas and the electric systems had been condemned by the surveyor. So that meant we needed straight away to find some way of doing cooking and what we've set up is to initially use a cable from designed for use in a tent. So it was a 25 metre outdoor cable with the right connections for our boat yard at one end and RCD circuit breaker at the other with four electrical sockets. And so we were able to connect up a number of electrical appliances directly to that safely. We've since upgraded that and got a domestic style circuit breaker with RCD which allows us to use the full power potential from the boat yard rather than tripping it every time we plugged in too many appliances. Especially the fan heater. I was quite power hungry. Yes. So I'm going to show you a video now of the galley as it is this week. We've just arrived at the boat for our half term holiday to do refitting and this is now our galley. It's by far the most sophisticated our galley has ever been but it's all stuff that we have been able to use in multiple different places so that when we are doing work in the galley we don't need to go hungry. So some of the key features of this are to have a sink and to use it in a boatyard as simply drains into a bucket, making it very easy to empty. Our tap is a cycling water bottle. Turn it upside down and you can pour the water out. Large chopping board on top of the main sink, which is plumbed in, but we don't use it at the moment because uh, it's just too much hassle we just use a washing up bowl. Key item that we started with is an electric induction hob. At the back there is uh, well it's a clone of an instant pot and we use that a lot it's basically an electric pressure cooker and then more recently we added a combination microwave grill oven which is uh, adds a lot of flexibility in terms of what we can cook. We now actually have some storage with a shelf we built uh, fairly recently. Now you've seen what we are using, I'd like to explain why we didn't go for a, the obvious solution of a portable camping gas stove. They're very easy to get hold of, very cheap. Well, we've but got several at home actually. In <laughs> we've the already got some, <laughs> but the disadvantages are that they um, blow out when it's drafty, say if you've got the hatch open because you're coming in and out doing jobs. Um, and then if you do close everything up, they have the danger of carbon monoxide poisoning when you've stocked up all the leaks you might find that a problem um, and also they can be dangerous with the flame not being very easy to regulate there's danger of fire so we didn't fancy any of that and we felt the induction hob was an easier way to go absolutely and of course if you have a permanently plumbed in gas installation then the gas itself is stored in a drained locker so very different from one attached to the cooker itself. So instead of that we've gone for small portable electric appliances and the beauty of them being portable is depending on where we're doing jobs in the boat we can set up our galley anywhere we like. So we've used the chart table at times, we've used the saloon table we've uh, gone outside when it's been nice and so it's, it's incredibly flexible and key to that flexibility and the first thing that we got was a single induction hob we think they're absolutely fantastic mm. <laughs> they're incredibly quick for making cups of coffee quick they are very adjustable they are safe because they don't get hot to the touch and so that then they make an ideal basis and, and they're very cheap to buy single very hobs very efficient now. as well yes so induction hobbies are just a game changer really deliberately chose to get a single one in fact we have two of them because we rarely need two and and so we only have the space taken up by one uh, most of the time as well you saw that we've got one of the pressure cookers run on electricity ours is a king pro pressure cooker and it's perfect for making a hot meal very easily you chop everything up stick it in the cooker set the timer and you can forget about it while you either clear up the mess or go and take a shower which is what we usually do and then when you come back it's ready yeah no fuss and we we often uh, throw everything into the pot 
uh, at home and so if it's something like chickpeas they get to soak uh, on the journey and it's absolutely ready just to plug in and put on uh, when we get to the boat while we're sorting everything out. The latest thing we've added though is a combination microwave and that's again it's really flexible very uh, convenient not just a microwave but we can have toasted crumpets mm -hmm. and uh, also use the oven as well um, so and with the combinations it gives you a really quick um, solution to cook Efficient cooking. and quick, yes. I wonder why we have a big oven at home, honestly, when we use it. <laughs> yes, those three things are going to be part of our long-term solution for cooking on the boat anyway. So um, it's great for the few years while we're doing the refit, but will be uh, part of our, our cooking solution afterwards as well. And then beyond how we actually cook the food is all the stuff around it. And a key part of that is plumbing, or again, in our case, the lack of any plumbing. No plumbing. <laughs> we can put a picture up showing how the drain from the galley sinks was completely blocked by debris. So all the plumbing has come out. Um, that is in part related to us uh, getting rid of seacocks. Um, and so what we've got at the moment is basically new sinks and we use a bucket to collect the waste from them, which makes it very easy to carry it down from the boat uh, and put into a drain. Well, obviously, it's only a temporary solution. Otherwise, it could be very be, messy. It could be very <laughs> messy. But here in the boatyard, it's perfect. As for getting fresh water, we've actually been using the plastic bottles you saw in the video because we already had them and they're easy to carry. Using drinking water, we've uh, recently decided to try to use metal bottles um, because they are better with fewer microplastics. Yep. And then finally, when you've done your cooking and you've had your dinner, you have to wash up. And we find just a simple washing up bowl. In fact, we do use two. We use one for the washing and one for the draining. Um, and you can use them anywhere in the boat. And it's really nice on a nice day to sit in the cockpit and do your washing up with a hot a kettle of hot water. It's ever so easy. And we confess that when we're going home late at night, we tend to eat and then all the stuff goes in the washing up bowl to go home for the dishwasher to deal with so uh, also easy from that perspective as well so that's our very what we think is a very simple solution we think it's much better that we were forced into it because we didn't have anything but we actually think it's a lot better than using a traditional boat galley um, gas and so on um, while you're doing a refit we hope this helps you and see you next time bye bye Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up.